Hey there, creatorpreneurs. Welcome to another Tutorial Tuesday on using the Graphics Creator by Laughing Bird Software. My name is Mark Sylvester, and today we're going to learn how to make motion backgrounds. So let's get into it. Okay, so motion backgrounds will catch the eye while people are scrolling on Facebook. You can upload them to YouTube. You can use them on Instagram. Okay, they're not quite full on videos, but they're uh, motion backgrounds that you can overlay text and graphics onto. They're really cool. And I'm also going to show you how to export your video so that it's at its optimal quality. Okay, so let's pick a template. Um, let's just do the one I used last week on my Tutorial Tuesday video. So I'm going to click this, and this is a cool one. But for now, I'm not going to use the, uh, the smoke, of course, because we want to make a motion background with it. So I'm going to delete it. And I'm going to come up here to the Photos and Videos tab. So you'll notice we have Photos and we have Videos. So if you click on the Videos button and you start typing in something like uh, Space, okay, and you hit Return, a little window will pop up. Uh, this, um, this service is from Pexels. Pexels Video, Pexels Graphics, um, Pexels uh, Stock Photos. They're free to use and you can use them commercially and they're fine with it. You can go to their license and see what, what, uh, what their license is all about. But it's a super cool service and we've integrated the graphics creator with uh, Pexels Video. So uh, when you roll your mouse over the, um, the images, you'll see that you can see a preview of what the, uh, the uh, video looks like. So I'm gonna try, that's pretty cool but I kind of like this one, it's more subtle. So I'm gonna hit the download button. Okay, and it's gonna download to my downloads folder that I have open right here. Here it is, okay? So let's close the pixels window. And here's my graphic. We can uh, make it a, a real ad if we want to. So I will say, um, I can double click and say, it's out of this world or whatever whatever is appropriate for it okay and I'm gonna come over here to the video and I'm going to drag it right onto the canvas and there's my moving my moving motion background I can make it big and I'm gonna send it to the back great now I can bring this here and I can put an outline on this I think sometimes this gets in the way so this little X button here I'm gonna click it to make it go away I'm going to click on the text and I'm going to uh, choose an outline so it's a little bit easier to read. Okay? Now, uh, you may have noticed before that if you click on an image, uh, an element, and you click on it, the menu to the left changes to um, graphics editing tools. If you click on text, it'll change to text editing tools. And if you click on a video, it will change to video uh, editing tools. Okay, so we have options of making a GIF record or we can record a video. Um, we can set the canvas, bigger, smaller, whatever. So I'm gonna record the canvas by clicking the record button. Okay, and I will type in a name. We'll call this uh, Outer Space Ad. Okay, and this length is 16 seconds. Now this, this, uh, this number calculates how long the video actually is. So I'm gonna record it, hit record. And when it's done, this little window will pop up and you can save it right to your downloads folder. Okay, it's right here. And this has been output as a WebM file. Now, previously, I was having everybody uh, convert the WebM to an MP4 using an online tool. And I kind of found that the online tool wasn't working super well. And you can actually upload a WebM directly to Facebook. But Facebook, I found, wants to convert it to an MP4. And Facebook's converting tool isn't super awesome, so it kind of makes it fuzzy and blurry. So I found another tool called Handbrake. And you can go to handbrake.fr, and it's a free tool for Mac, and it's a free tool for Windows. And you can download it, and you can install it, and it's, it looks complex, but don't get scared. It's super easy, and it, and it converts your WebM video way better than Facebook does and it'll convert your WebM to an MP4, and when you upload it to Facebook, Facebook already sees the MP4, so it doesn't convert it anymore. Uh, and it looks really good, so watch, I'll show you. So I've installed it on my Mac, and I'm gonna launch it. Okay, let's open it up. 
and when you first open it up, it's going to ask you what, what download, uh, what, uh, what file you want to import. So I have exported my outer space ad, WebM. I'm going to click it and I'm going to choose open. Okay, and here's, here's my, uh, my WebM. Now, the cool thing about um, Handbrake is that you can set, uh, set a preset that you can use forever and ever and ever. So I'll show you what I, what I mean. Now, somewhere around this video, in the comments or in the description if you're looking at it on YouTube, um, I have the specifications that I've set for this. And what you can do is you set your specs up and then you save it as a preset. So I'll show you. So <clears throat> I'm going to use the format I want to have uh, an MP4. That's my, that's my eventual format. Okay? My dimensions um, are going to be whatever the size of the video I export. So you can leave that as it is. My filters, don't need any filters, leave that default. The video though, here's what you want to do. The video, uh, you want to come down to MPEG-4, okay, and you want to have a consistent frame rate. I've tried both of these and I found that consistent frame rate is the best. And you can set your frame rate to 30, um, and you can actually play with this. Export, you know, 10 videos in different, in different uh, frame rates to see, you know, what's better for you. But I've found that 30, frame, 30 frames per second is the best, consistent frame rate, consistent quality, and there's a little slider. This is the key that I found out. The slider goes from one, okay, or it goes to 13, or no, 31. 31 is the worst. One is the best, all right? Um, one is the best, but it also makes your file pretty big, but if you're gonna upload it to Facebook or YouTube, it kinda doesn't matter. So I've set it at one, and now I can go ahead and save my preset by clicking this button, and I can name this uh, Graphics Creator uh, Preset, whatever, okay? Um, now here's one thing you have to check. The dimensions, instead of custom, you wanna, you wanna write source maximum. That means whatever, whatever uh, size your canvas was when it was converted, that's the size you want your exported video to be. Okay, so set that, hit add, and now every time you come back to the software, you can come over here to preset, and you're gonna have your graphics creator preset along with your general web, whatever these are, okay? But my preset's always set to my graphics creator preset. All right, so once I've imported my video, I can now hit the start button, and it starts its converting process. It'll take maybe 30 seconds to, to convert it. Okay, when it's done, it has put the file into my downloads folder as an MP4. And when I click it, and it came up, it came up really big. So let's shrink it up a little bit so I can see it and hit the play button. Yeah, came up pretty cool. Okay, now we're gonna see, now we're gonna see if it really uploads nicely to Facebook. So I'm gonna run over to my Facebook page and I'm going to post this graphic. Okay, testing out another graphic. I'm going to hit the photo video button and my downloads folder is default. Here's my MP4. I'm going to hit open and I'm going to, and let's wait for it to load in. Okay, it's there. And I'm going to hit post. And then Facebook takes a little bit, like 30 seconds, maybe a minute. To, uh, to render it on the back end. But then if you wait a little while, it, Facebook will alert you and then you can refresh the page. Let's scroll down a little bit to see where it is. Oh, here's a test I did earlier <laughs> while I was practicing for this video. And that looks pretty good. So, you know, people are scrolling and it's gonna, the motion background is gonna uh, capture their attention. So where's my video? Let's see, up oh, there it is. Cool, there you go. Easy as that. Let's do one more to make sure we got this down. Okay, we're gonna launch the graphics creator and we're going to find a template. So let's do, this one's cool. Okay, now you can use any video that you may, you may have or you find somewhere. Pexels is terrific. Um, so, for example, I'm gonna take this, I'm gonna delete this. My brother-in-law, Brian, uh, has created a cinemagraph pack of videos. He's, he's it's super, it's just amazing. I know this is a, uh, this is a really cool one for this ad. So I'm gonna drop this on, it's got little uh, hummingbirds. 
So I'm going to make it bigger and I'm going to drop it into the back by going send it back. And here's my membership uh, coupon that you can give to your customers. Move the words around, change the text, change the font, but that's for another tutorial. <laughs> there you go. Okay, so again, we're going to record it. We're going to click on the video. We're going to go to video record. We're going to name this um, membership if we want to. We're going to hit record and it's going to last about six seconds. Okay, and then it's going to download that WebM to our downloads folder. Okay, and it is over here. It's right there, WebM. Then we're going to come over here to Handbrake and we're going to make sure let's I'm going to quit at a handbrake so that it's um it's fresh so I'm going to launch handbrake okay and it's going to uh, ask me what video I want to upload I'm going to choose the membership one we just did and there it is and my preset now make sure to go to the preset and you're going to go to my presets uh, graphics creator I was testing this <laughs> graphics creator preset and it has everything set up for me I'm gonna go to the start button and in about 10 seconds or so it's done and here's my membership let's see what it looks like I mean here's my membership video there you go cool and then we're going to come over to Facebook and we're gonna try that one more time. We're gonna say one more test. Because <laughs> people are seeing this as I, as I post these. Uh, then we're gonna go to video and click on our membership.mp4, open it, and let it load in. It's there and we hit post. and wait a couple seconds for it. And then Facebook will alert me and we refresh the page and we scroll down and there is our awesome half 50% off our 12 month membership. And it's a real eye catcher and uh, I think that's cool. So there you go. Now you know how to make motion backgrounds with the graphics creator by Laughing Bird Software. So come back next week and I'll have another one for you. Thanks for watching.